أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم reminder for myself in this very material world that surrounds us and continuously pushes its reality upon us that we are seeking spiritual realities and heavenly realities. That whatever Allah is bestowing and of continuous light in continuous grace, continuous rahmah that first flows in the world of light. In that world of light in Malakut that light flows into the realities of Prophet From Prophet then from the Ulul Am means that those whom loving Sayyidina Muhammad Prophet promise you be with whom you love. And the Ahbab understood that the, the easiest and most powerful way to enter into that reality was the love of Sayyidina Muhammad With their love, with their ihtiram, with all that Allah inspire with them, they move into that proximity. We're talking from the world of souls. Their souls move into the proximity of Prophet Whatever grace and emanation Allah and tajallis Allah sending is dressing the lights of Prophet Prophet like a, a sun beyond imagination of any sun that's sending his nur that Allah dressed upon all those whom loving Prophet They are in the proximity of that light and whatever Prophet being dressed is dressing upon those lights. Blessing upon those lights means dressing upon their souls. So with their proximity to Prophet they are being dressed on their soul from the lights of Sayyidina Muhammad Then that tajalli comes out to mulk is deep understanding. So to receive those lights it's not important your physical place. Some people think if they sit closer they get more tajallis which is incorrect. It's not the proximity to the physicality that you come sit at the, the, the foot of somebody and you'll be taking the blessings, no. There's a general blessing that coming upon every association. That's like a rain but this tajalli that they're talking about, this is from soul to soul and locked, it can't come to the body. Because where's the best example for that are the guards of Medina. You sit and make tafakkur and say, Ya Rabbi if this was about proximity those guards should be walking on water. All day long they are in front of Rosa Sharif of Prophet And Prophet directly says, no this is not about proximity. If this was proximity they would be all the awliya. All day long telling you to turn your back to Prophet push you away from Prophet It was not about proximity. So anybody wants a dalil, remember the guards of Rosa Sharif. It's not about where you sit but it's about where your soul is placed. Because then when you sit in tafakkur to that understanding you understand that, Ya Rabbi this is not my proximity and that's why only Allah keep a very limited time in the presence of Prophet and that's why all the adabs teach you that the more you spend with your physical time the ruder you're going to become. Because you're going to become familiar with something and lose all your adab and respect for it. And that's why Prophet said, when you travel visit for three days 
And that's why awliyaullah beyond three days they begin to be scared in the presence of Prophet because that first day you arrive you come with all your love and excitement and it's the greatest place on earth. After six or seven days you might begin to think, oh okay maybe I can go here first, maybe I'll go here first. Already you understand that that ihtiram is now dropping from you. Imagine then those who want to be there all the time. That's why the tariqah comes to teach the adab that the physical time you have with these awliyaullah, with these shaykhs is to learn what you have to learn. What you have to gain of your realities and from your understandings and to be careful with that physical proximity how to keep the manners. That's why the schools of tariqah they are schools of manners and adab. Keep the adab, keep the manners, keep the respect because they're going to now explain that these reflections and these lights. So we start from the greatest which is the presence of Prophet It's not proximity otherwise all those guards would be all the awliya of this kingdom and it's not. And Prophet confirming to the heart, no it's not your physical proximity. There can be people in physical proximity that do their worst for the shaykh, bother the shaykh, backbite the shaykh and they're still in the physical proximity. It's not about that but Allah says, enter the home through the proper door. The proper door for Allah is the soul. So it means that the physicality you show a physical person but the soul may be very far from that reality because he keeps only his physicality near the shaykh but his soul did not yet enter into the reality of that shaykh. Then there are others whom their physicality is very far but their soul is right there face to face with the soul of the shaykh. And whatever the shaykh is bestowed of tajallis, of realities, of knowledges is all dressed upon that soul, that soul sends to its physicality no matter what the distance of time and space. But this world is different. This world is, is making people to fall into their illusion of their eyes and their ears. Not their physicality, their souls. And whatever Prophet dressing and whatever Prophet wants to bestow, he doesn't bestow everything but whatever he wants to bestow, he sends the manifestation to the lights. Their souls become heated and from their souls it emanates out towards creation, not through the physicality. But what the shaykh opened of the soul and raised you to maturity and said that now that you're mature there cannot be two of us in one location, go out with what I have given to you and now represent me like your children. How many, how long you want your kids at home? When they become successful and they become adults, they become rijal, they become enforced with realities, you say, now go out, go out and represent me. And then that begins to teach us this understanding that those that their physicality is far and their souls are very close, the shaykh is giving them abundant realities through his soul. And because of the knowledges and the organizations and the products that they produce, the shaykh is very pleased in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad So it's not your eyes and see the person next to the shaykh say, oh this must be a blessed one. No, he's still in the presence of the shaykh. The one who became rijal and going out now representing the realities of Sayyidina Muhammad And the shaykh so pleased with that person and people and students that as much as I give to them they immensely spread everything. Then this for us in life is to understand, it's like your stocks. There are some stocks you buy and they call you that you've got to put more money in, it's not going anywhere. It's like you just keep putting, investing in it and it's not going anywhere. 
And there are others that you invest in it and it blossoms, it expands and explodes everywhere. That was what Mawlana Shaykh was teaching us, that what bestowed upon you your responsibility spread it far and wide. Spread it far and wide, as much and as fast as you can spread it, more comes to you. Some take by cup, who takes by cup? Those who don't have anything to do, how can they ask for more from Prophet With your generous support, we have helped many of the needy around the world. You can make a difference right now by helping us support those who need it the most. Give now at nurmuhammad.com forward slash donate. Levels of the Heart Lataif al Kalb by Sheikh Nurjan Marahmadi. There are subtle energies and realities that are dressing the heart. This unique masterpiece invites readers from all faiths to step forward and begin the process of unveiling the true spiritual realities within their own hearts. Say, I say, yeah, that's okay, give me some light. So for what? You're sitting on it? Okay, here's some light for you. But there are those whom take like oceans and, and rivers because they are dispensing as fast as it's bringing in. So they're teaching that this, this way of the turuq was to quickly bring your realities, learn your realities, learn your understanding and the greatest khidmat, the greatest khidmat is da'wah. people who are watching and saying, I wish I could be physically. Oh but they're doing things and now beginning to see the companions, seeing all of our shaykhs coming to them and visiting them, their khidmat. And Mawlana Shaykh taught us, this key to our heart, this key to my heart, this key to the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad was not your physicality, just you come and eat the food here, but was your khidmat. What did you do for tariqah? What did you do for this love? What did you do for this way? What did you do to come into my heart to show your love? And many people gave everything, everything that Allah gave to them, they gave to their shaykh. They did the most that they could for their shaykh, means everything about them was to serve the shaykh. As a result their soul entered deep into the reality of that shaykh. Nothing that the physical could understand, so close that whatever comes like a fountain from his heart is dressing upon that soul and space and time is irrelevant. Whatever he's receiving of tajallis, he's dressing upon that soul. And the people whose hearts are not open, they should use their eyes and heart to see what emanations and fountains are springing from them. So you go through a desert and everywhere in this dunya is a desert but how do you see like an oasis? Well, all of a sudden there's big palm trees on that oasis, there's flowers, there's gushing flowing water. Those are the knowledges, the knowledges of the heart, knowledges of numbers, knowledges of letters, knowledges of the lataif, knowledges of tafakkur. Those were the signs for the desert for people who don't have a heart that open but should use their physical heart, that's a big oasis. And his shaykh must be really happy with him for whatever he gives to him, he spreads it through every possible means of social media. Why? Because they don't want anyone to be under difficulty on judgment day. They don't want anyone that didn't have the ability to come to the love of Sayyidina Muhammad We said many times, if you bring one guest to the shaykh, okay congratulations for you. But imagine you go get a bus and bring 30 people to the shaykh. Here I have 30 people Sayyidina, he's 
and they're coming to sit for zikr. Mawlana would be so happy, so, so excited. Now today nobody even brings one person whom Allah sends everybody want to do da'wah on that person. Allah already sent them. <laughs> you most likely ruin the case and the person runs away after talking to you. We would go out pick people and bring them to the shaykh. And he didn't want one person, 30 people, 40 people. So imagine then the da'wah that goes out to get thousands of people, hundreds of thousands of people, tens of thousands of people just to see their face, just to hear these realities. So means that khidmat is what Mawlana Shaykh taught us, you want to enter into their soul, your life is about khidmat. Do something with what Allah has given to you of your time, of your ability, of whatever Allah has given to you, use it in their way. Their life is to encourage you for khidmat. If you're sitting at home and doing nothing, you're not of khidmat to anyone except yourself. What yourself going to do for yourself? Lift you up and take you where? That's why then when you come into their associations and you accompany the real guides whom their hearts are open and they have certificates of guidance, their responsibility make them to be in khidmat. Why? So that they enter into Allah's rahmat. That rahmat is their hearts are the masjids that you should be in. You should be praying in that masjid, you should be continuously in that masjid. That masjid, that qalb is Baytullah. There are 124,000 houses of Allah upon this earth. The other houses that you think you're building for Allah good for you, most of them are houses of confusion. They get there, they fight and they don't even have the correct aqeedah. But the best house, the least confused house is then the house of the hearts of the believers, the mu'min, qalb al-mu'min Baytullah. When you enter into their heart, their soul is dressing, that soul is dressing its tajallis. When that, when that reality dresses upon that student that you are now in proximity to me, that what we dressed upon you, my nazar upon you, not my physical eyes, my soul is upon you, you have a certificate go out wherever you are we reach you. They have even on video saying that wherever you are we're going to reach you with our physical and our spiritual power. Why? Because you're in my heart and I see every, every moment of what you're doing. Whom good to you is good to me. Didn't Prophet great grab the hands of his Ahlul Bayt? Whom with Imam Ali Salam is with me, who comes against him comes against me, the same inheritance. When you're good to them you're good to the shaykh, when you're bad with them you're really bad with the shaykh. Even you think you're in the physical proximity doing all sorts of crazy things. He's trying to teach, no my physical don't worry about, it. worry those who their souls are near me but their physicalities may be all over this earth doing what Prophet wants them to do. So then when we travel just to understand now what begins to open. That soul that brought near and when Allah begin to bestow His trust upon that soul, it's no longer even them. mean opening for us a reality for these 124,000 souls that their physicality was no longer of importance and that Allah through their certificates, through their khalwa, through their training open for them the reality. For those who don't understand when they open the reality you're not talking to that person anymore, you're not being rude to that person anymore. You're in now trouble because you're being confrontational with who's reflecting into the mirror of that person right now. So means that when you die and you pass and your, your, your character is of no need for them and you're nothing, you're nothing, they use you like a mirror in the heavens that we are going to reflect our reality through you. The teaching you have there are some who are inheriting on this earth 
from the reality of Imam Hussain Salam. And they take from the abundant flowing realities and rivers of Imam Hussain These knowledges they're teaching is not from him, the one sitting he doesn't know nothing, he can't even speak Arabic to you. But the one reflecting is speaking to that one. It's his realities, his secrets, his light Salam. Those are the lights that are reflecting out towards humanity. That when these students decide that they are going to let their egos and bad character to die, their 124,000 Ahlul Bayt and Ashab and Nabi Sasim going to begin to reflect onto this earth of their realities. Those whom reached, when they speak, they're speaking from a reality, the secrets are not their secrets but their secrets. Because some people say, why do you have to talk at this level or that level? It's not up to us, you can't talk at a kindergarten level when the one talking is speaking from realities. We're merely and those whom understood this reality, they're merely like a flute. The one blowing, that's their power. You just have to be a good flute, put the holes all in the right place and try not to move too much. <laughs> their realities begin to flow out. So means this reality of ours, this way of ours is about reaching towards that reality, how not only physically to be close but spiritually to be close. That closeness by khidmat. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifun wa salaamun al mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatih. If money could just grow on trees, there would be no need for this message. Since it doesn't, let us show you where your generous donations are going. We film, edit, and produce weekly television shows of divinely knowledge throughout Canada and the UK. as well as live stream internationally on Facebook and YouTube. Sheikh Nurjan's ever-growing online presence is the result of continuous financial input, and with your financial assistance and participation, this rapid growth will continue. Our Muhammadan Way app is continuously being upgraded and improved, providing an all-encompassing Islamic guide. In addition to the Muhammadan Way app, NurMuhammad.com is a website of immense knowledge and comprehensive Islamic teachings that is updated daily. Your ongoing support also enables a team of editors to compile books of heavenly wisdom from Sheikh Nurjan's teachings. One of our longest ongoing initiatives has been to provide basic necessities to the most in need worldwide. From feeding people in Vancouver's downtown east side, to clothing LA's homeless community, and supporting a children's orphanage in Pakistan. Your ongoing donations will help us continue to spread the love and example of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Become a shareholder in immense blessings, nurmuhammad.com forward slash donate.